morning. Little update on my progress uh, putting my uh, post vise together. This one here, you can see I got it all tore apart. I actually forged up a spring. Watched a few a few experts on uh, YouTube, and uh, this is just uh, one inch by quarter inch uh, mild steel uh, for these uh, post vise. You do not use spring steel. Mild steel is plenty good enough. Uh, apparently, back in the day when they were uh, manufacturing these, uh, spring steel was very expensive and unnecessary because mild steel has enough spring. But that it does work. This one here's another one I I got tore apart. I'm going to show you what I built. I know I'm, uh, these didn't have any brackets or springs. So I made these. Now, the way I did it, this piece right here is all half inch uh, square bar, the whole thing. So I basically, this right here is welded together, a little piece welded here. The only part that's not half inch is the back, which is inch and a half by half inch flat bar. And uh, you can do this. It's a little bit of grinding, a little bit of welding. This piece here is the part that goes in there. I'm just showing this in case somebody wants to build one and they don't have anything to go by. And this is a uh, more or less standard way that they did it. This goes in here. And this piece here. I got mine a little bit tight, which is okay, but I, but I have to hammer it on there and use a wedge. Here, I'm going to show you another one that I built over here. It uh, isn't as tight, just slides in, which it doesn't matter. Okay, this one here, th these are for two different vices. This is for a little bit bigger vice. This piece just uh, it's not real tight I just made these out of a 3 8 uh, plate and this one the same thing it's all uh, half inch square bar welded together I uh, ground a uh, V groove in there on both sides welded up to two plates and as you can see, the end is is a uh, inch and a half by half inch, and, uh, and I actually put these on the vise, clamped everything down real tight, and uh, these were the last wells I made, the, the, the corner wells, and it was clamped up on the vise. Now, just uh, this one right here, I forgot to do it, but on the other one, I got some 20 gauge or 22 gauge. And uh, which is uh, probably around 30 thousandths, you know, uh, it's not much. And I clamped it in between here to give space. This one, I uh, got it in there and started welding and forgot to put it in there. So what you got in this one is it's not, they're not really parallel. And it's really not necessary. You, you make all this stuff and you make it to fit. You can see it narrows down here. And what I had to do was take the clamps off, weld it here, let it swell out a little bit so I could get it off the vise. So now, actually, this uh, fits tighter on the vise than the other one does that I use the, uh, the 20 gauge, little piece of 20 gauge in there to space it out. Now you do need a little clearance to make this stuff easier. This one worked out all right. I had to do a little work around. Uh, it's kind of tapered out. And when you put this in here, I actually made this one. Uh, it's a little loose, but when we put the, the, the wedge in, you hammer it in and everything gets really tight. And now the way these things work, is this piece 
clamps against this end of the U piece right there. And then, I don't know if you could see it in there. Yeah, you could see it. Okay, the this part right here, that little half inch, sticks out a little bit. So the wedge pushes against this and this. So to tighten everything up, just, uh, you know, if you don't have nothing to go by and you want to build one of these, when you build them, you want this piece to come through so the wedge pushes on here inside your, your slot. And on this one, it pushes on here inside the slot. So actually, when this comes out, this part isn't being touched, only this part. And over here, this part's being touched and not this one. And then uh, they, they, you can have a loose fit so that's easy to put on there. And when you put this wedge on here, and you drive it in with a hammer. And this stuff's uh, pretty heavy. It's a little heavier than it probably needed, but it's what I had. I got some half inch, some three eighths. And man, I'll tell you, you drive it in there and it is stiff. I, uh, working on a third one over here. This one, the, uh, hollow nut, which the, the, the big, uh, uh, Acme thread here that goes in the square thread that holds the jaws together. This one is, uh, rusted up. It's froze up on there. I've been squirting it with blaster trying to get her loose I beat on it a little bit with my rubber mallet uh, I now this vice these vices are made out of of uh, wrought iron but I think this right here might be cast I think this is this could be cast I've been looking in them and, I, and I'm not sure how they um, they got the threads in back in the day this one over this uh this here's the the biggest vice that I have left and somebody got real tough with this one and they broke out a cup a uh, couple threads here it's on the bottom but I looked in there and this thing goes about 10 threads deep I'm sorry about that try to get it on here so I think what they did with this vise is they just put something so big that it only grabbed the last couple threads here. So this was probably hanging on by, by a couple threads right here and they winched down on it. And that's why I think this piece here is probably cast iron. It's probably cast. Now how they got the threads in there, Both supposedly they, they probably had to be machined in there back at the factory but this is all hollow so I think this is cast everything else is uh, wrought and this vice would be fine because it really opens up wide and they, they probably had a, a big job and they just uh, you know when you're working you got to do what you got to do uh, the tools are to get the job done I know with mine uh, this is gonna work uh, if I'm if I'm doing a job and it's got to be done normally the, the job pays more than what the tools worth and I know these are all nice antiques and then they'll never be put into that situation again but uh, when you're working you got to get the job done and uh, I don't uh, I don't grieve anything but that they did this here because they were probably doing a job this uh, you could see there's wear here on uh, these surfaces. Uh, I think these tools were used quite a bit. A uh, Just a little update to show you what I did. I got some new coal. Now I had this, which I think is the right size. And the ones that I got is, is this, which is like a two, two and a half inch. Uh, here on the west coast, it's all Kind of big coal, but uh, we're in a coal poor area. Can't get it. This is 
this is some of the coal I had from 20 years ago. This stuff is, uh, it's not blacksmith coal. It is coal, it's uh, bituminous, but uh, it's very large. So it wasn't crushed or, but I'll tell you what, it does work. I got, I have another bucket right here. And just to show you, here's some of the, this is a piece of coal right here. I'm probably gonna have to beat that down a little bit. Get it a little bit smaller. But that stuff will work just like any other coal. And I did put the uh, some of the big pieces in the last time I fired up the forge. And I plan on uh, uh, firing up my forge and trying out this, this coal here, which is a little bit bigger. But I can get it for a uh, dollar a pound, including shipping tax everything so uh comes from the west the east coast here on the left coast we don't have a lot of coal so i'm going to try this out and if it works all right I, i'll probably uh buy some more from it and uh if you have larger coal and you want to get started there's a way to start it i can get this stuff mesquite charcoal which i tried out it's way too flary to get little sparks and ashes and dirty it flies everywhere but this stuff here will light your fire you just you just put a little bit of this put some paper put some of this in there and, and it'll light any any coal coke anything and I can get this stuff right here uh, about $13 for a 40 pound bag just too bad that's not what I could use but this other coal is only twice as much well, it's more than that, I can get uh, a tw this 25-pound uh, 20 box for $25. But, you know what? We're still, uh, we're still doing it. We're still having fun out here. And uh, if you got any comments, let me know. And uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. Bye.